Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with some vintage jewelry unboxing, unbagging. Uh, got these auction wins, that's what I'm talking about. This was in there. Um, let me just show you the box. Really cool box. Really weird smell, but let's take a look at what we got in there. Buttons. Does anybody collect buttons anymore? I know whatever I have in here is going to have to be cleaned. It's not like a really, it's, you know, that old jewelry box smell times a thousand. Screw back here. This looks like it was a mirror for someone with a family picture. Oh, for a second I thought it was gold stone, but it's not. It's some kind of other stone. Got a little vertigray on it. Maybe that's the smell in here. I don't know. It says there's an earring here. <laughs> That's what it says. Uh, Eleanor, is it? Or is it Ellen? Elaine? I think usually these are gold filled, if I'm not wrong. An X earring. I'll send it to my ex. <laughs> Not with hearts on it. Heck no. That's an interesting pin. This had something in it. Oh, it's an earring. I guess that's just a blob. Not any kind of marking. If it is marking, I don't know what it is. So that's missing something. I guess these are celluloid or could it be wood? Different colors. Those are big buttons. This looks like it definitely could be Bakelite. So we can test that. I'm not sure what that's a symbol for. Just say W N S or W. I don't know. Not sure what that is. Another big button. I know what this is. Girl Scouts. Old buttons. Oh, another one. This, I mean, I don't think this is Bakelite, but I could definitely test it. Oh, big tangle. One of these clicker things. I think that's kind of like a an old toy, right? Or some people use them for their dog. I won't click it. Old paper for buttons. Another old button. A swirly pin. A uh, Napier. Tiny little pin like a flower. This is shoe clip. Oh, that Musi. And I think all, the, not all the shoe clip clips, but a lot of them have that name on it. Musi, if I'm saying it right. Pretty green. Yeah, this stuff smells. Green. I guess I could test all that for Bakelite. You never know. That's broken. That's definitely wood. There's more in here than just buttons. It's a flower. It's 
Is that writing on it or is it my made in something that I can't read? I'll have to research that because my curiosity gets to me. Uh, this, which looks like copper. Well, it's very dirty. It says 18K, but uh, I have a hard time believing that, but it can be tested. The Minnie Mouse watch. Cute little button. Cute as a button. This looks like wood. It feels like wood. Oh, here's the other one. But it's missing some stones. Some men's jewelry. This is from a watch. It's gold filled. button. Stop me in my tracks to see the name. Maybe some of them that have names on them are more uh, worth. Depost, is that what it says? Depost. This looks like a moon ring. Let's see what kind of moon I'm in. Is it? Is it a moon ring? Or is it just oddly? I don't know. Do they ever... Do mood rings ever lose their power? It's a nice shape, clippy. Oh, that's pretty. Stones are missing though. Here's an old one. It looks like Coro, but it doesn't have any Coro name on it. Pretty. Love the blue AB. Little princess necklace or prom necklaces. I don't know what they call them now. Oh, here's another one. It looks like, like the Capa de Monte thing. Oh, it says England. So yeah, probably from those ones that always break. Another one. I like that button. I have a button ring that's really pretty. I might have sold it though. <clears throat> I got it at a fair and this booth had all these button um, jewelry, gorgeous glass buttons, vintage. Um, they said that they was from a button factory that was no longer open and they had glass buttons and they were like the, um, not fiesta wear, what do you call that? Kind of like carnival glass ones. This is old button, wow. I need my little looky thing to see what the name of that on is. But I don't know. Does anybody know about buttons? Like, uh, if they have a name on them, are they worth a little something? That's a used button. Pretty earring. I like the color combination. A little bee. Is that an earring? Oh, it's so cute. What does it say? Avon. Cute little bee. No earring. That is Crown Trafari. This is like a drunk, dr drunk, <laughs> junk draw, you know? You know how they go? Oh, this looks like it's gold filled because I've had earrings. Just like this. It may or not may or may not be. Maybe not. But I have seen this design before. That's a button. Ooh, fancy button. A leaf. Oh. I don't see these usually marked. They're usually not for me. 
I guess it's Floren. Is it Florence? Florenzi? Or F uh, Vincenzi? Florenzi? Something like that. Cool. Oh, here's another one. I'm trying to think of what, where you would put such big buttons. Oh, that's nice. I guess on a coat or something, right? Big buttons. That's got a chip in it, but it's pretty. Is this a tie clip or a money thing? Looks ancient. Is that writing or is it the design? Oh, it's cool design. It's got a little star with something in it. Would that be for a tie or would it be a money clip thing? It's cool. Two dollars. What is that? What would you use that for? I'd use it for like a paper clip. Fancy paper clip. What the heck is that? Oh my god, that looks like an ancient button. I don't know if there's something in there written. Maybe that's like a really old button. That would be cool. Oh, flower. Maybe it's the verdigris in this that smells bad. Do you think so? Because that needs to go. These necklaces that are all tangled up. Oh, I see the problem here. There is a whole bunch of these beautiful glass ones all wrapped up in here. Is this a necklace? Because I always find the bracelets like this. Never the necklaces. I have a bracelet exactly like that. I really like the glass buttons, of course, because they're AB shiny, rainbow colored. Oh, I love glitter. I saw this dune buggy for sale on the side of the road. It was the most amazing metal flake paint job. Just, oh my God, beautiful paint job. Because we like glitter, don't we? And what's better than a glittery car? It was so cool. I'm shocked that this isn't gold filled. I'm shocked. Yeah, it's not. Look at the wear. Fooled me. Oh, here's another earring that I'm going to test for big light. It looks like the creamed spinach, as some people call it. But this one was missing its little thingy. Could be in here. That's cute. Fancy button. I did sell buttons at one point. Um, somebody wanted to buy them. I think when I had my Etsy store, maybe. These are Mother of Pearl. Oh, here is the other earring. So, whatever that is. What did I just throw? Oh. This. Wow. Oh, here's the other one. Yeah, these buttons and everything would have to go in a bath. I would use uh, the dishwashing tab. I think that's not, I think it's letters and numbers on the bottom. Blech. An old stick bin. Wow. Mother Pearl. Ugh. I had something like this. 
I don't remember what it was, but I think it was a brooch. Cute little button. Ah. Pierce Deering. There's a bunch of these little cute little buttons. Little round ones. I could see the little round ones being on like a like a baby little girl sweater. Not anymore. They don't do that because bye-bye oh, little apples oh these are little apples how cute oh. that's from an earring apparently it's just like a play ring Tiger's Eye Eerie that says 950 Mexico. Is the other one in there? What's the chances? They're slim. This blue earring. Oh. What's that? Johnny. Like a brass. Here's Johnny. Do you feel weird putting on rings with other people's names on it? I don't know. That's such a silly thing to think, but like when we were kids and you saw like footprints in the dirt or something on sand, it was like, you know, don't, don't walk in the footprints. I don't know why. I don't know why. Cute little earring. A lot of superstition stuff, you know what I'm saying? When you're kids, you get that from your parents sometimes. I know my mother was very superstitious about stuff. Whatever. This is like that. Tibetan silver. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. I think there was, what do you call that? Like, uh, don't walk under the ladder and don't open an umbrella. Gold electroplated. Don't open an umbrella in the house stuff like that all right so just a lot of dirty uh what do you call them in here dirty what do you call them buttons but i will research them later what's that i don't know so it takes me a while. Oh, it's a button. Somebody liked really old buttons, I think was the thing here. But there's not another Mexico earring, so. Bummer. That's not sterling. No, you're not. Cute button. Cute as a button. Quality. Paper's not quality, that's for sure. But I'm going to open some other stuff that looks like an old one. Right? Look at that. Hmm. All right. I love the box. Don't like the smell. So not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. But, oh, messy, messy, messy. Okay. I got a whole big tub of stuff left. Ooh, I don't know if I should conquer the all the Avon boxes I have or I think I'm just gonna do this big bag and hopefully there's nothing nothing bad in there like creepy crawlies or anything. No I hope not. 
This is one of those sparkling hair clippies. Branson, Missouri, or Missouri, how do you say it? Missouri, I think it's Missouri if you're from there. A plastic uh, belt thingy, sashi, from Taiwan. Try God. Remember those movies? Not Try God, but what were those movies with uh, the guy played God? Mayu, M A Y U. That's a new name for me. Yeah, I remember those movies. Earring. Oh, look. A cloisonne pen. Pretty. See if it writes. No, it doesn't. Probably just needs a little bit of help. Those, I believe, are Avon. So maybe I have the box to them. <gasps> huh. That's cool. I love these. I'll have to look that up. So cool. Ceramic broken. Ceramic. I guess the 80s. Is it the 80s? Maybe 90s where we had a lot of those ceramic ones. Men's jewelry. I know I have a bag for men's jewelry somewhere. I'll separate it later. Earring. Looks like the moon, right? Silver tone bracelet. Somebody's initials. Orange enamel. Reminds me of pumpkins. I'm not ready for that. I'm ready for the summer. Oh boy. That's very 80s. Every time I see these earrings, it reminds me of that movie, um, She Devil. Stars. Oh, these. Remember when these were in style? I mean, this is definitely not um, one of the good ones, you know. Like J. Crew, oh my gosh, they make such pretty earrings and necklaces. Oh, it's a pin. That's weird. Didn't expect that to be a pin. A little rubbery rose. That reminds me of the She Devil movie. Also, she always wore a rose. That was her thing for her business. It's kind of a horrible movie, but... I like vigilante movies. And to me, that's like borderline vigilante because she gets her revenge <laughs> on the cheating husband. So, I like it. Oh, one of these again. those. I'm afraid to. Pennsylvania. That's weird. Isn't it weird looking? It's like beaded around here. I like it. That's interesting. I think it is. Angel. Oh, another pin. Same one as the other one. I could have sworn these were earrings, right? Look. 
a glass gnome and men's jewelry. Another one of these. I don't know. That, those earrings remind me of Walmart. And I remember when they were in style and I was like, ooh, love those. Uh, not so much anymore. Gem time. It's gem time, y'all. Are those are those real gems? I don't know. I'd like to get one of those presidium testers or however you say it. I think it'd be neat, you know, to see if, you know, is that glass? Is it a stone? Where does it mark on that thing? This is um, some ceramic tiles, which I don't hate. There's no maker on it. Reminds me of something. Don't know what. Oh, oh, oh. Shark tooth. Not quite ready to watch Jaws yet. I think around June I start watching it. Even though that movie supposedly is supposed to be taking place the 4th of July weekend, right? Because that's what they're all worried about. But 4th of July is coming and yeah. But when I get that more summery feeling, then I'll have to watch it. Because it's a classic. Love it. These are probably um, not bad. They probably clean up nicely. That belongs to something. Ooh, what is this? Interesting color combination. Oh, I love clasps like that. I like that. Ooh. That's a major tangle, guys. Major. Looks like some jasper and don't know what that is, but it's super light. Oh, you know what it is that's entangled? Oh, here's another one with the beads. Interesting. That's broken. Very thin. Yeah. But the other thing that's really uh, gets entangled is the wire necklaces with the many layers. What's this? Chico's. That's cool. Got an enamel parrot, um, maybe a toucan, and the tail is little stones hanging off. Neat. But it is so super tangled in this mess. That's crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna bother untangling much of it on camera because it's just too much. These are pretty. I don't know if I have the other one, but I'm going to look. Men's jewelry. How come sometimes they're like bent like that? I guess it's the way it's supposed to fit on their sleeve or something. I've had this before, and I had the matching ring. And... Let's see. Yep, Giovanni. Man, they are famous for these flowers. But I like when I get something besides the uh, roach. These look like Avon. Hey, Santa. Your head's coming off. Cute. Cute Santa. But yeah, this is a big tangle, guys. No. It's a big no. I could untangle it and show it in my next one. These are probably Avon too. They belong in some sort of box. Some faux opal. Love that. Here's another one of those weird beaded clip-ons. 
That's old and bent. Old and bent. I don't know if that says something under it, like Italy or... I don't think it's gold. Well, doesn't hurt to test things. Tops friendship. Oh, thanks for... Uh, there was a viewer who said that it was a takeoff pound sensibly or something like that. I guess it's before my time. I don't know what that's in other states or something like that. I mean, it sounds like a, it's like a Weight Watchers thing. Oh, more of these. So, not sure. But, yeah. I'm definitely... What are these things? Oh, you know what I think these are? Um, for the wine glass. The wine glass things. So, you put it on your little wine glass and you know which one is yours. All right. That wouldn't help me. After a few glasses of wine, I feel like, am I the Christmas tree? Am I the snowman? I don't remember. You know what I mean? But they're cute. They're a cute little thing. I don't know if they're popular anymore or what. But Yeah, there's not much in here except a big tangle. So I'm going to tackle that another time. What is that? Oh. The LC. The LC. That's plastic. Yeah. I'll untangle it and show you what I found afterwards. But you know how I am. I keep looking and looking. See if there's anything cool. Ooh. <laughs> this looks cool. Not if I have to struggle with it. But yeah, I have found some really great stuff. I've found 14 karat Italian gold, like real, in some tangles. But that was back in the day when um, when we had Goodwill. We don't have it over here near me. It closed up, and now it's a, it's a gym. But yeah. Found it in the tangles. But this doesn't look like it's gold, but I like the bottom. I like the stones in the dangle. But it's got many layers of stuff, so, but it's cool. Just needs a cleaning. And I don't wear many long necklaces anymore. I'm sure they'll come back in style for me. Um, but this looks like it may be adjustable. Yeah, look. You can adjust it and make it longer. And these thingies hang down on the side. Kind of weighted by those. I think they're real stone. I think that's cool. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I wanted to see the name on this. It just was popping out. What does it say? Devor? Is it Givor, Givor, Divor? Something like that. E. Oh, evoke. I think that's just, yeah. Ooh, doesn't evoke anything in me. I got out. Uh, they're both there, but they're really warm. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and I will be back soon. Hopefully, uh, you guys are having a great week and have a fantabulous weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.